The, okay, the, we're going to start the afternoon live session from China, and the, the moderator is co moderator Marie Claude uh, Morris and uh, Dougu Park and SJ Park. And the, we are the, joined the fantastic uh, Fennel, Francisco, and uh, Peter, and the Charles Chan, and Uk Song Jung, Andreas Orlis, and Dimitri Isam Mosa, and the King Ming Tang, Dr. Jung Han Yun. And uh, uh, we are the live from the China. And the, OK, we're going to start. Afternoon. We are very happy to be with you. <laughs> you have a large audience. Uh, hi, everyone. We are happy to be right uh, uh, to uh, do the live transmission from uh, Shanghai Zhongshan Hospital, and uh, we the, we prepared one case, Moshe. Uh, that CTO uh, of the right corner artery. The patient uh, they, uh, did twice uh, intervention in, uh, in another hospital, yeah. uh, uh, but it failed. And today we tried to open the occluded uh, right coronary artery because uh, 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 we uh, now uh, I would like to ask uh, my uh, colleague Dr. Lee uh, to introduce the case. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My, my dear. Good afternoon, everyone. This is a male patient with a, a 67-year-old and has a history of uh, angina for uh, uh, three months. Three months ago, uh, had a history of uh, angiography showed the occlusion in RCA, and they have tried twice PCI, but they failed. With uh, a history of looking for, for 40 years and no other risk factors. The LVEF is 66 percent. Thank you. So, Mark Claude, could you uh, uh, see the 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 angel? Because the the patient is uh, actually not very old uh, lady. She had uh, twice the intervention outside our hospital. Uh, we now uh, uh, try to uh, uh, demonstrate. Uh, uh, how to open the occluded right coronary artery, and uh, we uh, can you see the angio? Okay, so this. Can you see the angiogram? Not yet. Can you can you show again angiography? Not yet. Uh huh. No, we have the, the slide of the presentation at the moment, uh, of the case that we just had. Oh, sorry. Uh, please uh, 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 turn the angiogram. 
Okay. Okay. Now we have the Andrew. Okay. Ah, good, wonderful. And uh, I would like to show the the Andrew first. The Andrew yeah. I sh the yes. I did uh, just a minute ago. Uh, the first Andrew one, please. Yeah. No, the first one. The first one. The first one. Ah, mm. secluded, uh, yeah, at the origin. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can yeah. you see the bilateral angio, oh. the right yes, coronary yes. artery, by the uptake actually is uh, about one, uh, two centimeter by the uptake is occluded, yeah. because they tried twice uh, outside, uh, the multiple, uh, I think, channel damage of yeah. this uh, mm. uh, lesion, and, uh, but if you see the angiogram from the, the left side, you can see next, please. Uh, yeah, if the collateral is very well uh, uh, built from the right, uh, from the left corner artery to the right, the distal yes. part of the right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Might be, I think the patient has two occlusions. One is just before the Cook's cortis, yeah. and the one, uh, another is just by the uptake. Yeah. Uh, this is maybe why uh, they failed by the first try. Uh, uh, try. Yes. Yeah. At this time, the, you're going to try to retrograde approach, right? And I tried. Uh, yes, because uh, for, uh, uh, they have already tried twice uh, anti-grade, yes. but yes. failed. Uh, you, uh, by this uh, angio, it is very, very difficult to um, do the anti-grade because of the multiple anti-grid collaterals. Yes. Therefore, I tried uh, anti-grid. Might probably I be using casing wire or uh, using uh, this um, reverse card. Uh, yeah, do you have any comment, uh, all the panelists? Uh, any comment from the panel? Yes. yes. Hey, Junbos Dimitri, how are you? Can you hear me? Ah, hi, Dimitri, <laughs> good afternoon, welcome. Thank you. So, oh, can you help me, please? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's great to see you. I think, uh, given the fact that there was a prior failure, the occlusion length, if you add the two occlusions, is greater than 20 millimeters. You also have a distal bifurcation that you are more likely to preserve with retrograde, and you have some very good uh, septal collaterals. Huh? I think it's very reasonable to start uh, uh, with yeah. a retrograde approach. I think that because of the diffuse disease of the vessel, you will end up having to do a reverse card. I think it's going to be very unlikely that you're going to be able to wire it, integrate with kissing wires or retrograde with a true to true lumen. So I think this, you have a very good plan, retrograde and reverse card. Mm, uh, may, may I ask uh, what does it yeah, therefore, mean? I think uh, I first I want to wire the, the, the septal branch. Yes, uh, Jumbo, uh, this is Charles Chan. Is there any collaterals from the circumflex to yes. the RPL? Because if you're going through the septal from LED, I mean, there's an acute Yes, there angle. is, but uh, the, the, the collateral is not very well built. It's mm. uh, yeah, very tortuous. Mm. I think the collateral may be from the LED, especially yeah. the second uh, 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 septal branch, maybe one uh, of uh, choice. Yeah, I'm more concerned about the angle when you go to the bifurcation of the RPL and the RPDA because there seems to be a lesion there. So, so if you go yes. from the RPL because the angle is more gentle, it might be easier to, to uh, cause. So that's only the... I try this one first. If it does not work, maybe I will take a one from the proximal. I give a one tip injection. Give me a sign. Just three months. Oh, largely. Dr. K, okay, what wire do you use? What I wire? give a tip injection to see. Uh, this is a Sion wire. Ah, I take first the, the wire Sion yeah. and then uh, afterwards, uh, uh, if I reach the distal part, uh, and uh, I will then uh, change the wire maybe. So it's very important that you uh, to see a uh, good collateral, good collateral. So let's see. Oh, this is not very good, huh? not very well of this big channel. 
I will maybe select the proximal one. Give me the wire, uh, make, make bigger curve. I think maybe we take the second proximal part of the wire. Dimitri, what will you do in this case? Which wire you will select to, uh, to wire the, uh, the septal branch? Well, I think in a situation like this, uh, the Xion is a very good uh, yeah, first uh, very good. option. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. If the Xion doesn't work, then you can use the Xion Black, which is much more slippery. The one comment I have to make, uh, Jumbo, if I may, about this tip injection is that uh, you had a cloud of collaterals there, so these are not very easy collaterals to work. Your, your, your first septal actually has a visible connection to, to the PDA, so actually yeah. it may be uh, more favorable to try this. Yeah, yeah. A little bit more, prox yeah. little uh, bit more, uh, more proximal than that. And as for the comment, yes, for, for I the think more proximal. Actually, yes, yes, the more proximal is the first one. The first one, proximal is okay, but this uh, is not very well. I will maybe try this one uh, to see when uh, to the direction of the apex. I think. Uh, I do again tip injection okay. to see when to see if this is better than the other one. Oh, pull back. <laughs> Dimitri, yeah, about better? the same. Uh. The same. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. The first uh, septal will be better. Uh, t better. Take the, the, the first septal. Th this Maybe. could be potentially wired, but I think you're going to suffer. And, and, and you have a much easier connection from the S1, I think. Now, as far as the comment uh, with uh, going to. Okay, I try the, the, the S1. Yes. Yes. Okay, I try the first one. Maybe I. You see it better from there. Again, I mean, there's nothing wrong with trying to, to surf this, you know, with a very small bend. And you may get like in a cross since you're there. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, I'll go back. <laughs> If not possible, maybe I will try to uh, using, I think the uh, Sion Blue uh, good for negotiating the collateral uh, because it's only 0.5 pi 5, five, five uh, gram. This is uh, uh, Sion, it's a 0.7. There's a lot of uh, uh, extra systole. When extra systole, I hate because that means uh, uh, it is uh, in the intramyocardium. Ah, I think we are going to this uh, straight forward to this direction, not to the left atrium direction. I'll give a tip injection to see if this is better. Otherwise, uh, I think uh, one of the apex, more apex. So very importantly, I think if we have found a good collateral. Ah, this is good. Yeah, that, that's what I, that's very good. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. There was a visible connection. Yeah. 
that takes a little bit of a backwards turn and then it goes into the, uh, yes. into the PDA. And if I may make a comment for people that don't do too many retrogrades. And uh, also very importantly, if you wire this kind of uh, collateral, you have make a very, very small band. Uh, we call maybe the band is less than one millimeter. Correct. Not all septals stay at the septum, so we, all say, we always say that you know using septal first is the safest. But there are well described connections between the S1 and the posterior lateral. So by definition, they get epicardial, and as you go towards the apex of the heart, they can emerge at the surface of the RV. So as long as you stay in the middle of the septum, you're probably safe. But very proximal and very distal septals, people need to be aware that sometimes they can get epicardial for a short distance and be a little bit more careful. This is a very, very small bend, and it will negotiate with the smaller collateral. And too big is no good. Yes, I, I have one question, Mr. Dimitri. Is there, you know, some uh, current uh, the, the several technique of a C, uh, CTO intervention, reverse cut, and retrograde approach widely performed in the in the world, the, the including Korea and the United States. I, can I ask the overall the procedural success rate uh, if you use the you know, some in the United States, uh, the retrograde approach? Well, we just actually got a paper accepted in CERC CI where we uh, uh, published our most recent. Uh, so, retrograde success by itself, it's 80%. 80%, yeah. Mm. Uh, overall, because sometimes in the United States we use the hybrid Before approach, so we bail out, it's 91%. Mm -hmm. But purely retrograde, 80%. Yes, it's good. Do you think you want to? Yes, that's it. Take it. Yeah, okay, that's cool. it. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Wow. So, thank you very much. <laughs> so, I think uh, we are right. We go to the... Uh, uh, it's important to confirm, so though, the Kusia, in LAO that you are what you think you are. We have a better device, better than Kusia. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Carval. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think the, when this, it works. When it does not work, we will select uh, the one even 1.4 fringe. Jumbo, I think, I think it's, since it's a, a live teaching case, I think it's important to confirm with an injection that, that you are where you think you are before you advance the Corsair in the LAO. Okay, yes. Okay. Uh, you mean I take an injection of, uh, I can take this without, no, no, I take this injection to see. I think it works, otherwise it waste my time. Mm. We are right, right? Yes, yeah. that's very good. Yeah. You see, we are in the PD and just the, the wire, the tip of the wire by this uh, uh, PD and PL yeah. junction. And actually if you pay close attention, you see that you have a little bit of entry in the cracks, so that makes it a, a, a more uh, favorable case than if you had a blunt uh, occlusion at the cracks. You see, the, wi <laughs> the, w the wire is already know. gone there. Yeah. Maybe we are somewhere. Somewhere, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, you're I good. I want That's my to see, to see, get more support. Oh. I think uh, uh, when I'm in the lesion, it's time for me maybe to select a, a better wire. I will do first forward, forward, forward this wire to see. Uh, now I have some resistance. Uh, maybe it's not right. Huh? No. I get some uh, trouble, you see, uh, with my with my Corsair to forward. So you're trying to advance the Corsair, right? Yes. Uh -oh. Be, be guide. careful with your guide. Oh, yeah, guide. Right. Yeah, yeah. You see, uh, my, uh, yeah, my, you see, my guiding was, uh, I record this, you see, by advancing my uh, Corsair, 
the guiding was uh, pushed out. Uh, uh, this was a recording, just uh, yeah. This was pushed out. Uh, I think uh, uh, I want first a little bit the wire, get more support. Hopefully, they are, these are the, the vessel. Okay. It's a little by little, huh? Ah, it's taking the... See, uh, taking the Dimitri? Yeah, right, right. A little yeah, by little. Yeah. Yes, you just need to be patient. This is the part of the uh, septum that is the most difficult to traverse. Yeah. Once you get into the PDA, it will fly. No, Dimitri, I'm a patient. I'm afraid you are you all not patient because you give only one hour. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. You see, it's flying, I told you. Yeah. <laughs> I would think I'm in the lesion. Uh, uh, in the in the vessel, this uh, the this uh, the wire is uh, in the true lumen. Yeah. Uh, the uh, the following thing is, uh, I think I will do try to switch to the reverse cut. Uh, when my wire, my uh, cochlea, uh, uh, in the in the right coronary artery. See, we are very lucky <laughs> because we exactly are, with your all, all yeah. your help. <laughs> skills. Yes, it's also <laughs> skills. Yes, mostly skills. Yeah. <laughs> luck, but. Uh, Jumbo, what's the length of the Corsair you are using? Are you using the 200 or the longer one? Uh, I meet uh, 50. Yeah, the longer one. Hundred and fifty, so you may have some problem later on to uh, externalize the wire. No, the, the, uh, yes, okay. The one meter fifty is enough. One, one meter forty-five is not enough. Uh, I just ensure you this is we are in the in the true lumen. No, don't do that. No need to. I don't do that, okay. Then give me uh, uh, a fine cross. Do I know the sign with a fine cross? Uh, give me a fill the XTA. Fill the XTA. Give me a fine cross. Sorry, I have to uh, explain my nurse in Chinese. <laughs> You're going to try to uh, feel the XT, right? And uh, by this, they're looking at the, the wire. Uh, what uh, is the advice from the older panelists? Jumbo, how high are you keeping your ACT for your retrograde cases? Pardon me? How high are you keeping your ACT for your retrograde cases? Oh, for the retrograde cases, normally we give, uh, we mean the two hours. So if we uh, give a patient uh, per kilometer uh, 100 uh, units, we will not control ACT. But if uh, uh, over two hours, then we will control ACT about 250, something like that, uh, roughly. You will feel the XTR, uh, XTE. And uh, when I try to the anti grid wire in the lesion, maybe I will uh, select. Uh, what do you, uh, your selection, uh, uh, 
for the retrograde wire. Maybe we can take the Gaia second. The antiquated wire, the, the XTA, the is good yeah. for uh, for serving the uh, serving the lesion because uh, they tried it twice. But I think uh, we are uh, take this wire back. Try. So I think we find the the antiquated uh, channel, not in the collateral, to the RV branch. Uh, we go straight ahead. I think we will find uh, uh, the the vessel uh, maybe in the sub intimate but we could uh, do the reverse cut. Test. I push the, the guiding a little bit, let the guide mm -hmm. the head looking up. Okay. Why not try to go again across retrograde still, you know, to rather than try it integrate at this point? Uh, yes, we can, of course, uh, but uh, uh, because we have some resistance, we can, of course, using the uh, retrograde wire crossing. Uh, I think uh, we meet the uh, maybe easier uh, same time. Uh. Jumbo, I think w one of the issues that you have, obviously, you've seen the previous angiograms uh, we haven't, is that you have proximal cap ambiguity, so that your wire is going into a, uh, into a space that it's not very. Uh, attractive so to speak. So one suggestion is to take your retrograde wire and work your way up as uh, much as you can and then use this as a marker so you take out of the question any uh, anatomic possible. ambiguity okay. and then you can good. stab towards your retrograde wire. Oh good. Oh good. Fine. Yes. Okay. Give me a uh, field XEAR and I will do uh, the retrograde as fast as possible. Yeah, because that wire is selecting a conus uh, branch yeah, there. Yeah. I wouldn't advance the fine cross anymore. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. And the Gaia 2 is an excellent choice because uh, your previous wire was probably engaging an RV branch, so you need something to catch tissue and get you up into the vertical portion of the uh, RCA. Okay. Yes. In the U.S., we use Pilot 200 Yo, very liberally. I think the uh, few XTA uh, are first, and XTR then it's not possible, XTR is and a then good we choice to uh, change the guy a second. That's, these are all excellent choices. Yo. And uh, antigradly, uh, due to the multiple attempts, there, there is uh, many false, false lumen, and that's uh, that also the that, that's one excellent yeah. point. And the other is there are bridging collaterals, yeah. there are small branches, there is this conus branch yeah. going up. So I think yeah. that if he can sure. take advantage of the retrograde wire, that will tell him exactly yeah. where he wants yeah, right, right. to be. Yes, thank you. This XTR is good uh, for control uh, in the lesion, but uh, uh, not good for uh, the cutting, as uh, Dimitri said, the tissue. And uh, if not possible, I will direct the suite to this uh, Gaia. Uh, now, the question, do we know whether the, ca the retrocatheter is subintimal or not? Because we haven't taken really a picture just to make sure that it's not subintimal. Because no. there's resistance there. Uh, okay, now, still not. Not no. yet. Okay. <laughs> I, th I think okay, he good. was uh, uh, selecting an RV branch, so that's a sign <laughs> that he was probably in the lumen. But in all honesty, and I, I do appreciate there are different schools of thought around the world, but uh, I mean, going subintimal at this point is not the worst thing that can happen. Actually, if you throw a knuckle, you can traverse the entire uh, part of this artery within two seconds and be ready for reverse car uh, close to the proximal cap. But he's, he's doing very great, yeah. very well there. <clears throat> the long lesion, long uh, occlusion. Long occlusion, yeah. 
Retrograde wire is Gaia wire. I think it's an no, XTR. Now this the, uh, the, the field uh, uh, XTR, yeah, the retrograde. Yeah, 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 right. I took a very small injection to see, ah, I think we are somewhere. Perfect. And, and again, uh, just to be 100% sure, an RAO projection. So this is uh, direction sure. at least that's correct. Okay, I will do it. You give a little injection. I will show uh, our uh, panelist uh, or the uh, injection, anti grid. Perfect. And uh -huh. I think we are right. Huh? You see, yeah. by the uh, by the final uh, feel, uh, final picture, you see we are in that uh, just right direction. The anti grid wire was in the very small corner branch. When you yeah. in this yeah. direction, uh, this view, you may go straight. Maybe I think uh, the wire will meet, but it's very difficult. I think we go back. Yes, and this technique of doing almost like a, a panoramic picture from LAO to RAO is very good because you can see that the anti-grade and the retrograde gear are dancing in sync on the, say, so in the structure of the vessel. Yeah. Yes. And that's a good example how you can get in trouble when you go anti-grade and you don't know where you're going. If you, keep, you see how clearly that this is not where the proximal cap is, where, he, where the wire, anti-grade wire is. So the retrograde wire now is helping him tremendously. Like marker, the exactly. Marker. We can all see uh, for sure that when the, the anti grid wire goes directly, uh, goes straight, maybe uh, uh, it's the right direction. In that uh, con, in that uh, up, we have to go to 9 o'clock, not uh, 10 o'clock. Yeah. Maybe you can beat to in, pull, pull back a balloon. And then we... In all honesty, Zuba, I would just advance the Corsair as far as up I can and then just work with your retrograde wire. You like two millimeters from the from, from crossing. Uh, the question would you switch the retrograde wire to something more like you know pilot or GA2 at this point would that be more effective to traverse the occlusion? Uh, well in all honesty the XTR has served so well. I don't so well like so a pilot. I would use the NCT and it cannot cross I will switch to Gaia, not, uh, not yeah, pilot. I think we are there. We have to make progress, huh? so I don't think it's time to change the Yeah, but you, you, I mean, the XDR has served you tremendously well so far, so I think the most important thing now is to advance the Corsair, uh, establish all the territory that you have, and then uh, see if you can get true to true for five minutes. If not, then just uh, do reverse card. I think, uh, Dimitri, I give up the reverse cut. I using this <laughs> retrograde cross, and uh, I will directly, uh, 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 directly uh, uh, anchor the wire. I think we are now. I think somewhere it's in the true. Are, are you sure you have not crossed? The wire looks very good retrograde. I think you've crossed. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's not into the I think, uh, yeah, this is what I mean. I think I have crossed the list, the occlusion, yeah. and uh, I now try to advance this uh, into, in the anti uh, grid uh, guiding, and I take the uh, balloon to anchor the wire, and uh, we uh, advance the Corsair so easier. This is easier. Okay, do it. Huh? When, uh, sometimes it's difficult uh, to passing 
the wire to the anti-grid guiding, we have now another weapon, that is uh, this uh, uh, Godzilla guideline, to help us uh, uh, to... Uh, I, I, you may you may be subintimal. Yeah. Uh, anti -grid, uh, you may be subintimal, Jumbo. Yeah. The way yes. the wire is knuckling there. Because if it's not, really should get into the guide. Yes. I mean, you're yes. And if you go at AO, you will probably see that you're around the guy towards the ostium there, the uh, ostium with the aorta. But again, that's not a problem. What, there are many solutions right now. You can put an anti okay. balloon and balloon there and and solve the issue. I think yes, this is uh, nearly the only 17 degrees, I think, uh, uh, no good. Okay, I will answer this uh, Corsair to see. What's your guide? Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think we are uh, parallel to the guiding, I think. What you get? Yeah. And not possible when you talk I hate using talk about it, sometimes I have to. The, uh, the, I direct here the opinion from the panels, uh, you know, some the, uh, preparing the uh, CTO intervention, coronary CT scan, sometimes very heavy. The, I think I'd like to ask some opinion about, uh, you know, yes. some coronary CT scan is uh, mandatory or any criteria for performing the people with the CT or PCI? Uh, give me the uh, guy a second. Uh, 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 the CT scan for most of cases is not mandatory, but it's very, very helpful, especially for this case. Uh, you, are not, uh, you do not know the, the, the running of uh, the course of the right coronary artery. I think a CT scan will be very, very helpful to see if the, uh, the small corner branch uh, is the, the occlusion site. Uh, you uh, usually the, do uh, coronary CT scan before the CT intervention? I think there's a lot of tortuosity maybe. I mean, if the RCA is extremely tortuous, I guess yeah. would give you an idea. Otherwise, I'm not sure how would that help. I think tortuosity may help. I mean, yeah. but uh, I, I agree that it could also give you too much information sometimes. So, um, again, there are different schools uh, of thought. Uh, there are a lot of people in continental Europe and certainly in Japan that they do CT scan pretty much uh, before every CTO that yeah, is attempted. Line, line. Yeah. They get information about, you know, vessel course, degree of calcification, uh, bridging collaterals, and so on and so forth. I can tell you in our experience uh, in the U.S., especially since I've been at Columbia, I've done more than 2,000 CTOs, and I think I've done three CTs. Uh, so uh, I don't, personally, I don't think they're very useful. <laughs> But, uh, but it also depends upon the techniques that we use. In the U.S., we do knuckles, we go subintimal very often, so we can figure out the course of the vessel without uh, uh, the CT. Yeah, right. It's useful in prior failures, and especially in patients post cabbage when there are a lot of connections and the vessel is very, dis the anatomy is very distorted and you don't know what connects to what. These are some situations where it could be helpful. But again, there, there's no one way to do these cases. There are some people that swear by... Um, 
uh, in, uh, in general, in Massy, we, okay. we do often the CT after failure. When, mm -hmm. when yes. you, we that, that's a very good, indi that's a very uh, good indication. We do it at that moment to, uh, mm -hmm. to have more information. Yeah, right, right. Mm -hmm. What wire do you have, Jubo? No, I changed the, the wire to the Gaia. This is the Gaia second. I think maybe the tip of the core share is the committing you to a branch. Yes. Maybe if you bring it up back a little bit. Yes, uh, I think it's misleading. The tip of the core share is misleading to, uh, to the sub intimal space. Uh, Jumbo, I mean, uh, even the first wire, XT was a false lumen. I mean, uh, you could have left it there and then put the balloon integrally and, did a, and do a modified reverse card. You know? Correct, yeah. I mean, rather than trying to go into the true lumen, I think you just need to connect from false to false, really. Yeah, I want to see which uh, method is most saving time. I think uh, we are there. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very nice. I'm there. I take a 2.5 balloon to anchor the uh, uh, to anchor the wire, and then I will uh, uh, externalize my uh, externalize my uh, 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 wire with the RG3. I think we have RG3 there. Huh? This is a. I know what the tuna. I mean, certainly a lumen to lumen, I mean, it makes it easier a little bit rather than go through the ballooning and go back and do some intimal. So uh, yeah, in this case, he was, he was very close. So <laughs> yeah? Let's me, let's think. Okay, uh, let's think. Let, let's try, let's try, let's try. Thank you. But sometimes it you, can you be very time consuming to make this connection. You know, I you can spend like an hour to, it's the longest one millimeter oh. of your life. In that case, doing, going directly to the first uh, to after a brief attempt might be the more to efficient way to, to do the procedure. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I think I will do it. Okay. Uh, 2.5 balloons, 15, and this is six French guiding. I think uh, we're using 2.5 balloons more than enough to anchor the uh, to anchor the wire. Yes. Uh, it is. Okay. So, oh, go to uh, 14. Okay. Okay. Now I think you see it's very easier to the, the, the very easier to. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. Good. Guide. No. Don't, no, don't go down. Fix out. your guide first. Give me RG3. Fix RG3. your uh, RG3. Fix your guide. You. Uh -oh. Jumbo, go up with the wire and trap oh again. Guide? Trap again the balloon oh, because everything sorry. is going to come back. Thank you. And fix your guide. Okay. Oh, good. Good. Thank you. Oh. Dimitri, I no, no, the other. I have to invite you for, for, for dinner. You watch my guiding, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm making sure you're behaving. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, because I was too uh, excited when the anti uh, when the the uh, into anti grid uh, uh, guiding. And sometimes uh, you are too over exciting, and uh, it makes you trouble. So, Jumbo, you use pretty much uh, exclusively the RG3 for externalization. We have to have see, to put this, uh, introduce uh, through here. Yeah, I think I will finish this uh, yeah, very brief, uh, shortly. And it would be nice if the camera can focus Important on your thing, hands. You have to, after, oh, sorry. After it is externalized, we have to fix uh, the, this uh, wire with the talker. And uh, we have once, 
So why I was sleeping in it, it was uh, actually the problem was solved, but it was make us uh, trouble. You have to really, very really important to make this. And now you have, we have the wire uh, out. Okay. <coughs> uh, using the introducer to put the wire in. Uh, uh, We use the same balloon. I think we use the same two point five balloon. See that the tuna. And now I think it's time to a little bit to uh, now. I I, I think. Uh, uh, Dimitri, I, this is I uh, want to do. Uh, I, I pull the guy in outside the ostium, and then I put the. Oh, sorry, again, and I pull the cursor back. The, this is uh, extremely important because bad things in retrogrades happen it's when you pull. Very important. You have to put the guy in outside. Yeah, because you can have the left main guide yeah. uh, all the way down the LED without even realizing it have huge dissections. Yeah. So this is a very yeah. good technique. Yeah. And even there was a bit of problem in left main. Now we put it back. Yeah. Now I put the guide back again because of the, the, the guide yes. there. And I put this here. And they give me the 2.5 balloon. And it's also important to have the collateral covered with a microcatheter for the entire procedure yeah. because otherwise you can slice uh, the septum. So he yeah. would make sure that the tip of the corsair at least is but in the you, you have experienced uh, some trouble, Dimitri. Huh? <laughs> that means you have experienced some trouble, I said. Uh, because we, importantly also you put this... Uh, 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 um, um, you put this... Uh, uh, This microcatheter in the channel, not to pull out. We have to prepare our eyes to see, uh, and also I experienced once a very terrible time that uh, I used the anti grid injection that made a huge dissection of a whole vessel. And uh, now I think I first, uh, I'm not very sure the distal part before the uh, Cook's cord is. Uh, it's uh, also another occlusion, but anyway, I will dilate. I think here. Uh, play back. Uh, uh, back. Uh, uh, back. 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 Uh, Sometimes, but uh, I had once a uh, trouble. I uh, exchanged the balloon for anti grid using microcatheter, but the lesion was too severe calcified, and the anti grid balloon was not able to cross, and I pushed, and the whole system jumped out. I think if we have the anchor wire, this is the, on the, the other left side, this on the right side, you never go, go uh, anything wrong. I, I think that, um, that most of uh, uh, retrograde operators would like to complete the case on the externalized wires. It's the best rail you can have. You can take this pen yes. and, and deliver it down yes. uh, the artery. Yes. Uh, there are situations where you want to flip your retrograde system into antegrade if the patient has ischemia or if you want to deal with a bifurcation and you're not that experienced and you don't want to trap with a stand, obviously, you, uh, a retrograde gear, but for the most part, uh, we like to complete the case if, it, if it's tolerated on the retrograde system. Importantly, I think yes. I think Dimitri is very uh, right. Uh, once I uh, uh, had a retrograde wire get over, I exchanged with the microcatheter and I changed anti grid wire. I thought it's very easy, but uh, it's, uh, the lesion was too severely calcified. It will make me trouble. I have to switch back to and retro good again. Mm. 
I do. I wish to see uh, that this uh, situation of this uh, uh, before the the bifurcation to see if there's occlusion, and if there is occlusion uh, evolves to the bifurcation, might we will I use this uh, KDL balloon, this uh, uh, this uh, uh, dual uh, dual lumen uh, 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 bal uh, catheter to uh, to wire the the uh, PL branch. This is very important. Sometimes uh, you will lose the vessel. Give me the iris. Oh. Uh, flushed. Yeah. Okay. This is the new uh, version of this iris catheter. It's a very tiny. So what are we trying to learn by IVIS right now? What is the specific reason? We want to evaluate the, the lesion, and we want to evaluate the, the lens, and want to evaluate if the distal is occluded. And we do not normally, for the retrograde CTO, we do not, uh, we do, not uh, do anti injection injection because you, uh, may, you may dissect the whole vessel, and we have a, a lot of experience in the, our early uh, phase of learning CTOs. Now we do not do it anymore. We are using iris to evaluate the lens and the, the situation of the, of the lesion. I, I, I think the, the, the two most important pieces of information that he's going to get right now is distal vessel uh, size and yeah. presence or absence of disease and also he will be able to figure out whether the RPL connects to the PDA or whether there's a rim of tissue, a flap separating the two. I think that if the IVUS confirms that uh, the, the RPL and the PDA connect, I think then he doesn't need to wire the RPL. He will okay. just, just back. stand across Can see the IVUS? PDA. Yeah, it's just going to be underfilled. I mean, the vessel is going to look a lot smaller. It, it, than, oh. it will. It will. Uh, so you're right. It, we know that uh, they grow by 30% over time, but uh, it's useful. If you, if you don't see disease, then you know that you can probably take it at least with 3.0 in a man PDA or 2.5. Okay. Dimitri, can you see the iris? Yes, we can. Yep. And since the wire passed. Okay, good. We are pulled back from the PD branch. You see a, a huge amount of uh, of uh, pluck. The vessel is big. The vessel is one uh, to it's more than three wow. millimeter. Uh, actually, this is a plus the positive positive remodeling. So, are you distal now? This is distal RCA. Is this yes. the uh, this is the, I think post the uh, bifurcation. Oh, no? I, oh, I, I, I will do it again. This is the bifurcation. I don't know. No, we, no, are we, we in the subintimal space? That, that, that? We didn't see the bifurcation, no. so you must be in the. We don't see the angio simultaneously. Mm. Uh, yeah, this might probably. Looks what is the, the, the echo dense area? What is that by uh, 5 to 7 o'clock? Hematoma. That's probably hematoma. Yeah, You'll see here. Okay, and well, what, uh, why this hematoma happens? Mm. You ballooned? Uh. It's hard to tell, really. It's hard to tell looking, if you're looking at the PLAT uh, origin. But we, at least with the, the eternal uh, elastic lamina. Uh, I, if we are in the really true in the plaque uh, where it is, I'm not very sure, but we are just inside the, uh, the uh, EM. Hmm. This is a, see, this is the proximal part, uh, actually we did not dilate. I think the whole vessel is totally uh, diseased. See, yeah. a huge wow. amount of a plaque yeah. burden. But Jubo, were you far enough? We didn't see the RPL coming in. Mm -hmm. Were you past the cracks with your IVOS probe? Yes, uh, I will do again. I will do again. Uh, I, I, actually, I did not see again also. Chubu, we have just... Uh, this is the proximal uh, part, uh, gentlemen. You see, uh, uh, and uh, a huge amount of a plaque. Chubu, we have uh, just uh, seven minutes uh, left. Okay, I try my best uh, to finalize uh, 
the Ibus, yeah. and uh, I think uh, the, the most uh, uh, difficult part we finished already. Of course, it's done, uh, yeah. You see, this is why I do not like to do anti grid injection because uh, you see, there are so multiple dissections. If you inject, and the, the whole vessel will be dissected. Yeah. Yeah. And this is why we, it's very important that we use Ibus control. I will do again to see. Stop. I will do I was again to see the distal bifurcation if we are there. Uh, I, I, I was there, the twin cache. Twin cache I was. I don't think see, you we are, I'm uh, somewhere, I think I think I'm in the PD, huh? Are you sure? Uh, Inject, injected. Okay, pull back. See, I'm here. I don't think you were past the, the cracks, uh, Zubo, but probably so that we see some flow, just dilate a little bit and give a little puff so that oh, we yes, see yeah. enough. Look, 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 look. Oh, this. Bubble. And there's some bubble in it. This is uh, the, the, the beauty of this uh, new catheter because it is very tiny. You have very well prepared to... I go again. Stop. Stop. Yes, sir. Oh, so Imaging. Ah, this is, I think, uh, uh, can you see? This is uh, the. Yeah, the, the, uh, yeah it connects. Go, uh, go, go, go ahead and stand. Put a stand uh, in the video. Yeah, yeah. You can see it. Yeah. yeah. I think we are, we are right, no? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We are right, but only huge amount of, uh, of uh, stop, stop, plaque. Stop. But here it was also occlusion, you see? We are in the plaque. Stop Ibusing and put some stents so that we can see the final result. <laughs> Just pull that thing out. Okay. <laughs> Good. Thank you. I'll try. I, I have to dilate this uh, part again because uh, it was a uh, so stop. stop. Okay, but stop Ibusing. Uh, okay, I have to dilate the, the, the PD again because it is, uh, the lesion is too long. Oh, the 2.5 long. Uh, we have to. Also, if you, if you noticed when he was uh, putting the IVOS, he had the distal tip of the catheter away from the tip of the Corsair. This is a very important point because you have two devices of different profile on the same wire and they can lock. Yeah. And there are solutions w uh, to get out of it, but you don't want to go there. So you don't have, don't have a gear entrapment. And that's the same also with balloons or any microcaster that are on the same rail. I think we'll give slow, low inflation here. Okay, time, time, yeah. yeah, this was the bifurcation. This, this is a 2.5, right? Oh, that's it. Yes, it's the same. Yeah, 2.5 or 15. Okay, done. You still don't have the this 30 the and 40 balloons? This is balloon, never get lost because you are the, the, uh, the other part of the wire is, uh, uh, is uh, uh, fixed with the dilator, uh, with this uh, talker. No. The other thing that's okay. important is if he's going to do any anti-grade injections now, uh, he needs to flash his guide very well because he hasn't used the anti-grade guide for an hour or so. Yeah. So there's still a possibility of clot or air or things like that. So it's very important to clear yep. the guide before the injection. Sure. Sure. Jumbo, you need to get 30 and 40 millimeter balloons. It takes you more longer to dilate <laughs> yes, than to cross uh, the lesion. It's being economic. Oh, I will using ask the, the, okay. the trap and balloon, right? I would like because <laughs> anyway, I dilated the whole length of this vessel. Yeah, yeah. Do yeah. I uh, dare, do anyone dare to do an injection, anti-grid injection? 
Ma you can I do it do with it. the 2.5, uh, just do it, uh, okay. make sure you aspirate and you flash your guide though. Although, I don't know what you're going to find yes. out with injection. I'm doing now. That you don't already know. Uh, actually, I am still, I, was, I still don't know uh, the, uh, the length of the lesion. I still don't know. Uh, the length of the lesion is full metal jacket from the it's, PDA. Or it's the very window. long. It's very long. Yeah. <laughs> Just 80. take it to 538, 3038, 3538, and you're probably right. Otherwise, you can use BVS, sir. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, you can use BVS, sir. Yes. <laughs> maybe better than... I flashed uh, clean my guiding, and I will show you, maybe, before I do stand, I, normally I, I said this is wrong, but <laughs> we do a wrong thing, uh, to see, very, very tiny injection, very tiny. Okay, uh, uh, okay I give a very tiny injection, eh? please. Ah, ha, ha. good. We have a huge um, uh, hematoma in the middle part, uh, as you see by Iwus. And uh, this is uh, actually even is wrong. I think we are right. I think we are in the true lumen. Yes. And uh, I will check uh, again with the Iwus no, and uh, just put uh, what you no, call no. the longer, longer, longer stand. No need for Iwus. Uh, no, Iwus, just show us some stands. <laughs> Chuba, would you like to ask the uh, closing if comment? If you put a stand, I think I, I will put for Proximo. Yes. Two five, two, two five thirty-eight distillate. Unless it's propagated hematoma. Okay, the time is over. Would you like to ask uh, your closing comment? Well, okay. the tough job uh, is done. Thank already. you very much for yeah, us, uh, for invite us for the transmission. Just need to put stent now. Uh, we try to put a one, two, three, uh, three, three stent. I yeah. think uh, uh, afterwards I will show you uh, the picture with the Twitter, uh, how it would like uh, yeah. uh, afterwards. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Good job. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Very, very well done. Very well done. So,